Hey folks and true believers, it's me, M64 Bros, and as you can see here, we're back in the Wii U once again. But, we're gonna do a little revisit. A revisit through to the original Wii Shop, and DSi Shop as well. Although both stores are sh- I mean, I mean, oh, sorry. Although both shops are shutted down, but what is remains of them in those shops? Like, what are some of the softwares we could still download them? And what would it look like on the Wii U and 3DS once their eShops are down? Well, we're about to go to the original Wii right now and see what we're up against. Alright, here we go. And here's what my Wii menu looked like. Wii menu looks like. Yeah, it's not that much, but hey, this is it. Also, I'm reading your minds right now. How on earth did you get Mario Kart Channel on your Wii menu? Well, it's a little bit complicated to explain. Basically, if you do the whole DS and Wii Online, Wii Fi, whatever it's called, and do the online stuff of Mario Kart Wii, you automatically get this software downloaded. But we're not talking about that today. We're instead gonna revisit the Wii Shop. Oh, good times. Ah, uh, classic. Alright, so we're gonna start shopping right now, and yeah. Oh yeah, reminder of course, the January 3rd, 2019, we lost the Wii channel. But, s even though we lost Virtual Console and almost everything, what else can you still download while you're still on the Wii shop? Oh, let's take a look around, shall we? Well, if we go to WiiWare, as you can see here, there is a Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword save data update channel, which I have absolutely no idea what that is, and a Wii system transfer. And basically those are the only two that remain, unfortunately, so not that interesting. However, of course, if you re-downloaded some software, transferred to your Wii to your Wii U with some content, then you will be able to, like, re-download classic games and re-download them, as always. So, yeah, nothing interesting, but the only two that remain in the original Wii Shop are Legend of Zelda and Wii System Transfer. Yeah, it's not that interesting, but it's pretty cool. It is impressive that Nintendo still remained to keep these two on. Alright, moving on to the DSi. Here we go, the DSi. You know, the Wii menu... That was odd. The Wii menu and the DSR are basically like the same, mainly because they were, like, probably connected in the same year, but yeah. But, we're gonna see what the DSi menu originally looked like. Oh, should I say, Wii Shop, ah, yeah, DSi Shop. Let's see what else will re remains on this door. Brings back memories as well. So, of course, just like the Wii, it has nothing. If we go to Important Info... It will say right here that, of course, the it will shut it down, which is a major bummer. If we go to start shopping, what else is there on the DSiWare? Well, all there's left is the 3DS transfer tool, which is used to transfer all your data to your 3DS, and that's basically about it that's the only software that remains on here while the Wii U has the Wii transfer and the Zelda theme which is weird but all right and yeah so this was both a little revisit to the DSi and the original Wii shop but of course one of the questions remain what will the Wii U eShop look like after it's shut down what are some available softwares will still be available on the Wii U itself after it's shut down. Will we have something similar? The same will also go with the 3DS as well. Like, will we get a software update or any game updates or anything? Well, of course we'll still get game updates automatically, which is a good sign at least. Lastly, the games I got on my Wii U so far aren't that much, but I did get Mini Mario and Friends, the Amiibo, NES theme, the Super Mario Bros. 3 NES game, which is one of my favorite NES games, Mario vs. Donkey Kong, Shantae and the Pirate's Curse, and Super Mario Galaxy 2. I know it's not that much for the Wii U, but I've been focusing a lot on the 3DS as well. Making sure the 3DS is more entertaining and fun than always. 
Like what I'm doing is still downloading some software, of course, I'm already out of space. But I am saving it to my eShop re-download software, which means I can re-download the games anytime, like even after the Wii U is shut down, yeah. So the re-download options, of course I have is Mario Golf World Tour and Super Mario Maker for 3DS. As for right now, I'm still working on the Yokai Watch Trilogy, requested by Dark Doctor himself, because that series looks pretty cool. But as for right now, we're, we're just re we're just going to be revisiting the Wii and the DS shop, and that's about it. One day, and just one day maybe, I'm going to be making a revisited trilogy. Which means I'm going to be revisiting the Wii U, the Black 3DS, and the Switch itself. Like, not old, but yeah. So yeah, I'll be basically making a beautiful video tribute to the Wii U, my 2DS, and the Switch itself, which is already inside my backpack. If you guys like to, be sure to smash the like button and share this video if for those who have nostalgia love for these shops and yeah other than that hope you guys love this video subscribe for more and i'll see you guys next video and i'll be answering your comments tomorrow so peace out